All right, today we are talking about state law four. Okay, so the first um, question that you need to know, what is the square footage of a school that has 25 students? 2,750 square feet. Now it also, later on we're gonna be talking about how many square feet are in a theory room, which is 750. So super easy way to figure out how many square feet we have in each room is our ceiling tiles are four feet long and two feet wide. So if you simply count them, so if there's you know 12 of them, the two foot way, that'd be 12 times two is 24 feet. And then say there's eight the four foot way, that would be 32. And then you would just take 24 by 32. I can tell you for sure that we have more room than what we are legally required. Well, we are actually licensed for 37 students, so we definitely have more than 2,750 square feet. And this is the first time in my whole teaching career that I was actually in a big theory room, so I am very grateful for this theory room. I've always been scrunched in these little tiny things, so it's nice to have some room. All right, who gives the final inspection of a salon? the board that's kind of misleading because you actually call an inspector and i'm sure the inspector is underneath the um, authority of the board but the um, the answer is the board how do you remove substances from a container well, we all know that when a spatula that's easy um, who approves all beauty schools the department of labor and industry sometimes you'll hear people refer to this as l and i labor and industry um, so um, I'm sure that this is somehow in conjunction with the state board because um, whenever you're dealing with any of this stuff, you are just simply, um, you know, filling out forms from the state board and then uh, they probably get involved somewhere on the back end that you don't even see um, to approve it. All right, how to discard a towel after use. So. We would say, you know, oh, throw it in a towel bin or et cetera, et cetera. But what's important is that um, the language that they use here, discard in a closed receptacle. Okay, so that language is very specific. So make sure you know that discard, not, th not throw in, in a closed receptacle. So they're not being specific about what it has to be, but it has to be something that can be closed. All right, who makes the regulations when using dyes and tints? The Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, which seems really weird, um, but I guess they um, probably are in charge of any kind of dyes. I remember um, before I started cosmetology, there was red dye number five, and it was banned because they said it caused cancer in, in mice, and um, that was the FDA that did that, so they must be in charge of all dyes. Um, and uh, older hairdressers will tell you that the red hair color has not been the same since that that's what really made the red stay and, and it's been kind of not as good since then. All right, what should be done when any article is dropped? It shall not be used until it is sanitized. Okay, so that doesn't mean you have to pick it up immediately. You can kind of kick it out of the way so no one um, slips on it. But um, I always keep um, many, many combs and brushes so that if I drop something, I don't have to deal with it right that second. I just reach in the drawer, grab a new one, and just keep on going. That way, it doesn't take any time. Um, but then when I'm done with that client, then I can deal with the thing and wash it and sanitize it. Um, my sister went to a, um, a really expensive salon out where she lives. She lives in Allentown and was paying a lot more than she normally did and they dropped a comb and picked it up and continued cutting her hair. Needless to say, she was not pleased and she never went back. All right, who can obtain an electrolysis permit? So you go to school and you get training for 125 hours in electrolysis, the permanent removal of hair. Um, so an operator can do this, a teacher, a manager, or an RN, a nurse can all go to school for this. And back when the um, 
Pittsburgh Beauty School was in um, session. It was a really big beauty school right in downtown Pittsburgh. They would offer courses in that. Now, I would guess Altoona would be the next one. I don't know that for 100%, but um, the only person that I know in this area that does electrolysis, not saying there isn't more, is Lisa that owns Beauty Art. So it is permanent hair removal using electricity. Okay, under section 13 of the Act, I'm assuming Act 86 that governs us, when is a licensee's license subject to suspension, revocation, or refusal? Suspension, taken away for a time, revoked, taken away permanently, or refusal, the application is denied. When convicted of a felony, or you plead guilty under the Controlled Substance Act. So anything to do with drugs. When should you sanitize tools and instruments? Immediately after each use and maintain in a sanitary condition at all times. So you, you wash, you sanitize, you rinse, you dry, you put it away, and you keep it sanitary until such time as you use it and then you repeat. All right, nobody wants dirty things used on their head. You don't want to get into a cupboard uh, drawer and pull out a hairy brush. I can't think of anything much more gross than that. So everything should be very clean. The cleaner and more meticulous you are about those things, guaranteed the more you can charge. There was an illegal salon in my area um, when I was when I had my salon and one of my customers would disappear for a while and then she would come back and and I would say you know I'd, I'd say wow it's been a while since I saw you Dolores and she'd say yeah I went I went to that person's house up on the ridge and um, she said she only charges four dollars but there was mold growing everywhere like she would literally sit in the chair and look at mold on the drapes mold on the countertop mold on the floor so you know you get what you pay for um, she was willing to put up with that to get $4 haircuts for her and her family. Um, she eventually changed her mind and just started coming to me all the time. Um, but yeah, if you're dirty, you cannot charge good prices because people are gonna see it, they're gonna know, and they're gonna judge you by that. All right, thank you for so much for today. Bye-bye.